you're serving in the U.S. Senate. Yes. We're a representative republic. And yet we take a look at the courts are taking more and more and more and more power, like they're making the laws, they're creating the laws. So a lot of us were very interested in judicial appointments. Absolutely. Our national partner, First Liberty, they put a lot of attention on this. Uh, regardless of what people think about President Trump or good, bad, whatever, he appointed three justices. Yes. If you're elected president of the United States, uh, where will you go to figure out who should fill these crucial vacancies at the U.S. Supreme Court level, but all the way through the federal level as well? Federal Society is another good example amongst your, along with your partners that you're working with that have worked really hard to put together really conservative lists. I would say those are two really important point places to go. I'd also say, as a guy who voted for all three of those Supreme Court justices, having had an opportunity to vet them personally one-on-one -on -one with a, many conversations was incredibly important. I would say the 300 conservatives that I helped, I voted for to be on the bench is also the right direction as well. We need to make sure that we continue to have the firewall of conservatives who have lifetime appointments serving in our judicial branch. People who are textualists, who understand that their job is to read what it says, not to create what they want. Amen. And there's a big delineation between the radicals on the left who want judges to create laws. But it's not just judges. One of the jobs of the President of the United States is to make sure that they, he or she chooses a cabinet filled with people who understand their role, not the role of Congress. A good example of that is the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, who want to write laws by having rule makings throughout whether it's the EPA, the FDA, the NIH, the whole alphabet soup. You have a lot of these activists, especially the Department of Education and Randy Weingartner. You have all these activists who want to indoctrinate our nation not educate and inform our nation. I want to make sure that we have people who have a backbone and say, my job is to do what the law says and stop there. And yeah, basically understand the Constitution. Yeah, it's the Constitution. It, 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 it